Hey everybody, it is Nathan and Sylvia, and we are on spring break right now, which means that we're actually at my parents' house. So I can't do anything too elaborate this week, but I would like to talk a little bit about some signs that Sylvia has been showing that she's getting ready to retire. Uh, as many of you know, I've gone through the process of applying for a successor dog, and one has been selected. Uh, they don't tell me which one it, it is yet, but one has been selected, and I am set to do team training in June if nothing changes, which, I mean, something could change, but um, as of right now, that is the timetable. And at first, I wasn't sure that Sylvia was ready to retire, um, but the last few months have kind of been showing more and more that she is slowing down. Um, and I want to tell you about one thing that she's been doing recently, which is actually kind of funny, uh, but also kind of characterizes where her attitude is starting to go. So uh, lately, when Jess and I have been on the couch at my house, um, Sylvia has been on the couch too. But sometimes when we're going to eat on the couch, we need her to get off because we don't want her face to be in our food. So when we have our food ready, we'll walk up to her and be like, hey, Sylvia, get off the couch. And she will just kind of look at us. And then we'll be like, Sylvia, get off the couch, girl. And then she'll stand up. No, you, you, I'm not talking to you right now. <laughs> and then she'll stand up and she'll spin around a bit and then plop right back down on the couch. And then we'll be like, Sylvia, get off the couch, please. And then finally she'll get off and she'll actually like, and we'll be like, go to your bed because she has a bed in the corner and she'll just kind of look at us and just plop herself right down on the floor in front of the TV, which is not where her bed is. And just kind of look at us like, what you gonna do about it? And it's really cute. Um, I, I didn't realize that as she would get older, she would start throwing a lot of shade the way she's been doing. Um, but it also does kind of demonstrate that she's getting to the point where she uh, she has to start going her own way um, and being a more independent pet within the house. And that's a hard thing to think about for me. That's a hard thing for me. That's a hard idea for me to get used to. Um, but... It does help me think that I made the right decision in filling out that successor dog application um, because I was I was really not sure that she would be ready by the time a potential successor dog got there and I think she will be and I think that it will be a relief for her uh, so um, anyways that's that's what I wanted to give you an update on that's today's video. Thank you all for watching. Uh, if you liked this video and you like disability activism, then you should uh, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment down below. Tell me what you thought. Give us a like and we will see you next week for a probably better developed video. So see ya.